God, I'm serving full Elizabeth Holmes today. Welcome to Theranos. Give us your blood. Hello, my lovelies. <clears throat> today, I'm doing a super duper 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 fun unboxing uh, from my friend Sophie at the Etsy puppy store. And not to get confused, it's not a store for dogs, <laughs> it's specifically for succulent pups. And let me tell you, I was delighted when she got in contact and said like, do you want to do a little bit of a plant swap? Do you want to see, do you want me to send you some cool little pups? I was so into that. So it has arrived, safe and safe and sound, and uh, we are going to open it together. So, they come in this lovely, perfectly mailable package, very secure. And if you peek inside, oh, you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. And on the back of that has all the succulents you get. Now, I'm not going to read that just yet because I want someone to be a surprise. But look at that little bundle of happiness. And oh my god, there's stickers! <gasps> All of them are wrapped with washi, succulent washi tape. Oh my God, can you see this? I can't, can you see this? Succulent washi tape. I, I'm losing my fucking mind here. So let's take those babies out. Now, when she asked me, like, take a look at my store and what kind of speaks to you, what would you like? Uh, my immediate kind of go-to was their mystery boxes, which I found to be just fabulous. Ah, oh, this is a design about plants. Contributing artists, Essie Banks, Sophie Banks. Etsy is the puppy store. I will put it on the screen and link it down below. Instagram is Etsy puppy store. So uh, Sarah Horton is the artist, and uh, she did all of the crazy, crazy cool art that you see knocking around. It's very uh, wall mountable. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> oh, I'm so into this. It's a full miniature magazine on succulents, on how to care for succulents, on like, Beautiful drawings, making those puppies grow, succulents and soil, succulents and light. Oh my god. All wild orchids and cacti are illegal to trade. Ooh, did not know this. I knew that certain orchids were illegal to trade. Um, I didn't know you had to get a license to even bring them into captivity. That's news to me. And if you do have any questions, shoot her a message on Instagram and Etsy. And I heavily suggest you check out her Etsy store. It's very lovely and very, very cheap. So between you and I, very cheap, very good. Right. Oh, I mean, the stickers alone. <laughs> like, if you don't know me, I'm super fucking into stickers. Like, I put them on everything on my laptop, my phone cases, everything. No, nope, not Scratch and Sniff. Oh, well. So, I think we should get into opening these babies up. Because that's why you're here. You're here to see some fun, cool new plants. So, this is number eight. Oh, they're so carefully wrapped. Oh, so adorable. So this is going to be a Pachyphytum or Pachyphytum ovarum rubra. So these are tiny little pups, simple little cuttings from rarer species. It's a lot, lot cheaper and a lot easier than buying, you know, rarer plants. And it, they come with a full guide on, you know, how to set them up. I've actually got a little pot already put aside for them. So it's literally, setting these up is literally as easy as little dish. Pop a little soil in it, nice and shallow. 
and then you just take your pups and you sit them just on the dish. Now we'll slowly fill this up, I'm sure, over the course of this video, so do bear with. And it's not just uh, pups that are sold on there too. Small plants, baby plants, offsets from mothers. It's a really fabulous way to increase your collection without, oh. So this is um, something I specifically asked for, Scotidon undulata. Now I'll pop the full plant photos for each of these, just here. Uh, look at those really cool like ribbing. Isn't that so sick? Something that big, I might actually attempt to water prop because I had some real good success um, in the past with water propping. I love how I'm going backwards here. Uh, so number seven, whoa, that's a chunky, chunky leaf, is uh, Graptiveria opalina. Now, um, I'm going to lose track of these very quickly, so I'm going to write their numbers on the petals. It won't hurt them, don't worry. But that is a good tip and trick if you're getting a bunch of um, adorable cuttings. Oh, you're already starting! You're already starting! You are Echeveria Black Prince. Echeveria Black Prince. Oh, I like that name. I'm actually a really big fan of um, the cultivars. A lot of people kind of, again, not a big fan of species purists. I find them to be um, the ethnostate toters of the plant community. They're not, not grand, really not grand. Uh, we've got Little Echeveria Lilacina, or Lilacina, Lilacina, I think Lilacina. And you're already starting to push out roots as well. Just remember to number you. Now it should be noted, the normal mystery box has six leaves and a mystery item um, as an added extra, but because Sophie is so, so, so wonderful, she gave me uh, a couple extras. Number two. So this is gonna be an Echeveria Paladonis. Paladonis. Now I find it easier to just quickly write a number that way, you don't risk any problems getting things mixed up, which is not as fun. What are you? You are number six. Ah, so this is my mystery item. And it is, oh, it's already got a baby. It's already got a baby. It's already got a baby. Look at that. Hold on. It's already got a tiny little baby. Look at that little baby. Oh, it's so cute. So, so cute. This is why I love, I love this kind of stuff. So you really get a sense of, um, like the true fun of propping succulents without having to have all the adult succulents. It's like a much more streamlined version of that process. It's my number five. Oh, the washi tape is just, oh, it's so fucking cute. Sorry for swearing but it is absolutely adorable. I wish I had this entire reel of washi tape. It's so cute. God, these are incredibly well packaged. Like despite even, despite even being tiny, they are just extremely well packaged. Wait, there we go. This is number five. This is a Pachevaria clavifolia. Clavifolia, again. Non-toxic marker. Oh my god. Number nine is gonna be a, 
a sick one. <laughs> Sorry, I just read ahead by accident. By accident, I was reading ahead. So this is a Pachaveria uh, Elaine. And this is a hybrid. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what it turns out to be. You'll see it right here, what it's going to turn out to be. Let's add you into the bowl with the rest of our friends. Now, number nine has a couple things in this package. So let's carefully pull the washi tape away. Washi tape's a really good idea for this because it's not um, super dense and resistant to moving. So you kind of really reduce the risk of pulling too hard and snapping something. Uh, I think a lot of uh, online vendors really take note on that. <gasps> oh my god, those are cute. <gasps> yes. Oh, babies, 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 babies. So, this one I know for sure. This is Crassula mucosa. Um, and it is the, the, the watch chain crassula and it's just so cool to grow. It's, it gets really like fluffy and full and it just looks insane. And she also popped in here, uh, a Anacamp Cirrus Roof Sends Sunrise, uh, Pashifitum Virfrum, that's another one, which I'm into, uh, watch train and then Graptocedum Apple Glow. <gasps> Oh, I'm into that. So I'll put those in unison up here together, um, but they will be phenomenal. And I'm gonna pot up the little Crashula now. So this is the Crashula potted up and here are the other guys just all chilling. And I'm gonna pop these under bright, indirect light because you do not want to burn them. Now, the lovely Zine that comes with it has whole sections on light. For example, very harsh direct sunlight can actually be bad for succulents. Picky things, aren't they? The sun can scorch the leaves and cause them to turn brown. Leaves propagation are even more sensitive to light. Indirect sunlight is the key. Use your thin curtains, window film, or your dad's fishnets as a filter. When succulents are sun stressed, they can change colour. They could even turn red, much like your dad will. <laughs> <laughs> this is fabulous. This is absolutely fabulous. Give or <laughs> auxins make immature plants grow. Give auxins to people. I'm so into this, I'm so, so into this. I would like to thank Sophie so, so much for sending these adorable little babies over. Um, I'm gonna send her a little care package of some terrarium plants, and I do think she'll enjoy a good couple of them. Um, and I will let you guys know how everyone fares in the long term, and we'll check back and see how things are doing in a few weeks, maybe a few months, I've got some little plants popping up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching my lovelies, Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Deathly Cult.